Donald uh, and his sons and daughter, uh, not Melania, have uh, been accused by the attorney general, along with the family company, the Trump Organization, of primarily overstating substantially the value of their real estate holdings in their financial statements. And to what aid, you know, how did they benefit from doing that? Well, the accusation is that uh, being a real estate company, uh, they, they borrow money. And by having assets of, again, allegedly grossly inflated values, they were able to obtain extraordinarily favorable interest rates, much lower than had the properties been valued at their uh, real value. Mm -hmm. Now, you'd imagine that in the US, a number of people potentially do this. Um, is there a sense that the Trumps are being particularly targeted? Well, that accusation's already been made uh, by some of the Trump family. And again, as you point out, Bev, the concept of overstating the value of your assets when taking out a loan is hardly earth shattering. But what is somewhat different here is the scale. The Trumps are not just buying a, an investment unit. Uh, they, according to the Attorney General, they benefited to the tune of around a quarter billion dollars in reduced interest rates. Uh, some of the allegations, I read the complaint is massive. It's 220 pages. Uh, and it goes into extraordinary detail. And one of the ones that is uh, somewhat intriguing is the one about his apartment in Trump Tower, where the attorney general says uh, that in his financial statements, he shows it as being a 30,000 square foot apartment, when in fact it's a 10,000 square foot apartment. And he gives it a value of uh, US in 2015 of $327 million. And at the time, according to the attorney general, no apartment had ever sold in New York for more than $100 million. <laughs> That is some, yeah, some bumping up of the figures. But the Justice Department has also said that the, they will continue to... They've uncovered v evidence that may also lead to criminal investigations. So what are we looking at there? Well, that could be much more serious, of course, in uh, the sense of being convicted of a crime, uh, possibly going uh, uh, to prison. Uh, and uh, yes, they're, they're certainly looking how that will interrelate with this civil lawsuit. Uh, I don't know. Uh, I mean, the civil lawsuit was just filed uh, today. Uh, interestingly, the attorney general does state that the Trumps have made all of their payments in a timely way. And in fact, it would appear they're substantially ahead on their payments on these loans. But the, ar the argument is that it doesn't matter. The, the offense was that they uh, uh, were rather liberal in their uh, personal financial statements. Indeed. Uh, you know, the, it's not the only legal battles that Donald Trump is facing. The Justice Department was allowed to continue reviewing the documents retrieved from Mar-a-Lago and, of course, um, again, uh, seemed to imply that they were still very much classified documents. This is another serious obstacle for Trump as he continues this legal battle. It's certainly something that's uh, never come up before. I mean, there have been disputes. Richard Nixon had disputes about what documents he could bring with him and what had to be left behind. But there was never an allegation that he took 
that he illegally took classified documents. Uh, in his case, it had nothing to do with classified documents. It was all evidence of misdeeds while in office. Uh, the situation with Trump is, is very different from anything. The thought of an American president being accused of taking classified material after uh, he or she leaves office is uh, really uh, pretty much unfathomable. I mean, it's, it's not what you would ever expect. No, and now they are able to get back to the work of reviewing, which are thousands and thousands and thousands of documents. Um, do you think that he... What is, what is the legal right for him to, to declare himself to be running for president again in 2024? And what impact would that have on the legal cases? Um, it, technically, none. In other words... Uh, you could uh, you could be sitting in a jail cell and declare your candidacy. I mean, there have been uh, there have been American politicians, not at the presidential level, who have actually been elected while they were in prison. <laughs> oh, uh, oh dear! I think the city of Boston once had a mayor who, did, who, who was reelected while sitting in jail. Uh, oh. But again, at the presidential level. Yep. Nothing uh, like this. This is all. Uh, it, it's actually very disturbing because he, if he wants to run for president again, he would be a serious candidate. You couldn't make this stuff up, Harry, and it continues to astound. Good to have you on. Thanks so much. Thank you, Beth.